Here we go, another day, another project. Today we got a electrocuted male golden eagle, adult male golden eagle. Unfortunately, the electrocution happened. Um, basically, there's always an entry a point, an exit point when a bird is electrocuted. And luckily on this bird, it went underneath one foot and came out from the other foot. So, um, it didn't really damage anywhere else um, on the body of the bird but unfortunately cooked both feet so um, all the feathers were there on the ankles but unfortunately during the washing process we lost all those feathers because uh, the feet were both fully cooked and it was pretty hard and uh, it made it a little bit difficult to push the wire through but it, it worked out pretty good so we were forced to give it a position that is going to hide all the problem around the feet. Okay, um, carving the neck as you can see. After measuring the carcass, we're carving the neck. We have already carved the body for it according to the measurements on the bird. Now we are marking uh, exactly uh, where the neck, neck is going to be attached to the skull. We're carving it to the same shape and uh, double checking everything before we uh, start attaching the whole parts together. So the bird is prepped and washed fully. We are trying to get the excess moisture out of the skin, especially from inside because it starts to pocket some uh, water in there and uh, trap some water in there so it can't get really wet. I'm pushing some cotton in into the wing pockets, into this uh, skin just to absorb the excess water that's all there is for it uh, and I will remove them before we close up the mount uh, I just leave them in there for um, absorbing um, the water if like here and there during the video you will notice uh, that um, the ankles on the eagle they're both uh, kind of like bald and uh, they don't really have a lot of feathers so uh, push some towels into the skin, leave it to the side while it's kind of like, you know, absorbing the excess water. We're putting a couple of holes, drilling a couple of holes into the artificial skull of the eagle that we've already prepared beforehand. So I really like this method. Wire goes up into the skull and comes down and I hammer it into the skull again it creates a very strong attachment between the neck and the skull and um, of course I like to use hot glue which I know a lot of people don't like or don't like to use them for some reason and I fuse the neck into that uh, uh, plastic skull or uh, resin skull it creates a good bondage There you go, I push it in and it kind of melts into the foam and it fuses and really glues the neck into, into the skull. Now it's the time to recreate and rebuild the eyes and face. Unfortunately, the angle of the camera doesn't really um, show what I'm doing, but you can see the process. Make sure that you get your references. Don't trust your memory. I never do. Um, I always reuse references every time over and over and over. Um, make sure that you have one from the front and one from the side profile. Compare different birds on your uh, references wherever you have and um, try to adjust to um, install your eyes accordingly and of course according to the pose of the animal if the pose is relaxed you need to follow the eye movements on on a relaxed bird and if the bird is intense and is trying to um, do hunting or whatnot then you have to reshape it again Yeah, just make sure you move around the skull, look at it from different angles, and uh, that ensures that you're 
you're taking care of it from every angle and it's not going to be um, creating any problem. One of the things that is easy to do when you're mounting uh, any bird or when you're painting or airbrushing, it's very easy to overdo it. Make sure you don't, especially when you're applying clay around the eyes or when you're airbrushing. That's just the uh, nature of the taxidermy. I mean, you, you would like to add more because it, it looks better, but you always need to account for what the skin is going to add to your mount because if you add the clay to the mount that is gonna make a full face then you're adding something on top of it which is the skin and the skin has its own thickness and it adds its own amount of size uh, to to the to the bird or um, to the face of the bird or to the if it's if you're working on a deer it's going to add some more shape to it so you have to always count that in so leave some room for the skin so with the combination of a skin and the clay you're going to create a natural look okay now we're done with the face work and pushing the neck and and the skull right through the beak opening. I'm going a little bit fast in here. I'm going to speed up the video here because it's just a matter of uh, gluing the skin around the beak, which is a um, pretty tedious job. I'm going to go through it quite a bit fast and then we can go and continue on the next stage. Okay, the skin is totally glued around the beak, so now we're going to move forward to wire up the eagle. Uh, when we skinned this eagle, we left part of the wing bone attached to the breast, and now we need to um, add that amount that we left, so, or basically we cut off of the wing bone. We have to add that amount back into the shoulder bone. You can see the you can see the ankles are quite about quite a bit bald and and the feet are quite stiff. Anyway, I have pre-measured that and um, adding a couple of pieces of heavy-duty wire into uh, the wing bone and then tape it up. Make sure that I've added enough and cut the excess off. Then at least I have the right length. So when I'm attaching my wing into the body, it's not going to be um, on a wrong length. So we match up the other wing to the first one. Electrical tape are the best. I really like them. Okay, now we got the wings all wired up. I'm sorry, um, um, properly length. And now we're wiring them up. 
On this bird, I decided not to put any um, shoulder muscle to that first part of the wing. And uh, I just left it inside the wing like that. Some other birds, I might decide to add a little bit of a muscle with, uh, uh, with some cotton. But on this one, no. So now I'm pushing the wire into the cooked leg. And in the meantime, if, if you notice, I'm having my towels around all the time. So if there is any trapped water somewhere inside this skin so I can catch it quickly without uh, spilling it or uh, putting any of the feathers or clean feathers or half dried feathers into them again. So it just makes your work cleaner. Yeah, I work with towels all the time. Okay, the first wire went through, and the second wire we're pushing it through. This video was made like a few months ago and I'm putting the voice over it right now. Um, I realized that uh, for some reason I forgot to um, record the process that I'm adding some muscle into the drumstick. Um, as I said, because I don't have a person just doing the uh, videography for me, so I'm just relying on my own memory. Sometimes I forget and I'm done with the work, so uh, I forget about filming my work. Anyway, we're installing the body right now. We are slowly getting close to the end of this segment. So installing all the wing and all the leg wires into the body. and closing up on the bird. My future videos are gonna be a little bit more complete um, because um, I learned where my flaws are in, in the video making process. And I'll try to uh, fix them in the future videos. Um, I actually created a bald eagle video that is a lot, uh, is covering a lot more than this one. But again, you know, with a little bit of a knowledge of how taxidermy works and what are the principles, each of these videos should be plenty of, um, uh, should have plenty of to tips and um, basically techniques for you to pick up and continue and practice for yourself. Anyway, all the wires are in. Now we're gonna go through a very fast um, or sped up um, sewing process. I wish I could sew that fast and uh, we'll uh, see you on the next video. Now I'm installing the U-wire into the tail just to keep it more secured and, and uh, solid attached to the body. Thanks for watching the part one. Stay tuned for the part two. It's going to be uploaded very soon.